Hello, welcome to this video. Uh, I'm gonna be showing you a, a thing what I done made. Uh, it's just a little script thing, and it's not very big, but I feel like it's pretty. I mean, it's like it's it's pretty handy. So basically, I'll just get to it. It it lets you use any additional keyboards that you might have attached to a Linux system uh, for macros to do pretty much anything you want so like I can uh, let me just start up the script real quick and that's just gonna be python pv.py the script's going so as you can see I've got my keyboard here it can it can type and do everything that you need uh, press the M button it does the M but <clears throat> I press M on the second keyboard you execute the script and right now I have that bound to a little script that like checks to see what I'm listening to on Spotify and posts it as a YouTube link on my Discord. Uh, that's kind of just an example of what it can do. I've got right now I don't have that many scripts attached to it, but I have a few. Um, this backs up all my shit to my server, brings up a kill window, all that stuff. It's all stored as a layer like this, and uh, you might see where it says, uh, where is it, layer OBS for F1. So that's another thing that supports is you can switch to different layer files, and uh, le different layer files can have different sets of macros. Anyways, Neato, press escape to go back to the default uh, layer file. But, it does not end there. You can also attach more keyboards to it. So, I'm just going to plug this in. I'm going to I'm going to walk through kind of roughly what's involved for getting another keyboard going. There's some permission stuff that you can go over on my GitHub, but uh I'll let you do that in your own time. So, Say that we have the permission set up to where we can read and access this device uh, as your user, right? So let's just go to where I'm keeping my script. And I'm going to go ahead and cat, uh, is it device, so dev, slash input, slash by ID. ID. We're just gonna. Oh, that's a little big. So let's uh, let's do that again. And we're gonna look for whatever fucking looks right. Uh, so we're just gonna go with this one. Copy that, and we're gonna cat out that device ID. And we're gonna press a button. Yeah. Nope. Nope. That's not it. So let's pick a different one. Uh, whenever you press a button on the right one, it should show up with uh, some kind of jam, you know, a type of jam. So let's just go ahead and pick this other one. And, yep, that's it. So that's, that's the device for this keyboard that I've just plugged in. Alright, so now that we know what that is, we can just copy the device name, ID, or whatever it is, and just do uh, python uh, kiwi.py dash dash device, and then we're going to go ahead and put in the name of our device, and you'll see it, uh, you'll see it switch to the layer. That's the same layer as our device's name. Um, by default, this won't have anything in it. You can add it. You can add to it either by opening the JSON file uh, and sort of. It's pretty self explanatory how to add stuff to this. Um, or you can use uh, kiwi dash dash add and it'll detect your keystrokes and ask you what you want to ex execute. Um, so now it's in its own layer. And it's completely independent from this. Like I can do, I can do this. You'll see it. It switch to the layer file over here, 
and I can do this and then switch to the layer file over there. God damn it. <laughs> Well, actually, it is detecting it, but it's not. It doesn't uh, have a default layer. Oh, there we go. Yeah, see. So uh, I can press F1 to switch to OBS, while this one is on default. So both of these can have independent. They can have their own layer files that each tree off into whatever you want it to use. So. Uh, if you wanted to bind this entire numpad to um, like different layers specific to this keyboard, you could totally do that. If you wanted to do that to this one too, perfectly doable. Um, anyways, I worked for maybe a week on this and I think it's kind of handy. Uh, so that's why I'm making a video about it. Since I usually make a video about all of the bits and bobs that I make, usually. So, I know this is not a great video, but, uh, <laughs> bark. <laughs>